Hey everyone, welcome back to this brand new episode about a brand new version of Windows. Let's go! Yes, I know, all of that sounds super exciting. And what we usually do here is to provide you with practical data solutions. So it's gonna be no different today. Certainly, Windows 11, that's something which is officially going to be released probably at the holiday season later this year. But if you're part of the Microsoft Insider program, you can get an early preview of Windows 11, you can even install it and get access to all the great new features. Before we get to the actual installation, there are two extremely important things that we have to do. First of all, do a compatibility check. Yes, Microsoft's Windows 11 is not going to be compatible with just every system, so your hardware has to meet certain requirements. In terms of minimum requirements, what Microsoft is asking you to have is a 64-bit dual-core 1 GHz or better CPU. You need 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of storage, DirectX 12 compatible graphics adapter and TPM 2.0. Obviously, none of these requirements is too demanding, so chances are that your computer is most likely going to be compatible. Now, before going to the installation I mentioned, we have two tasks to do. One of them double check the requirements second thing and most important make a backup it's true going the right way is going to consume a bit more of your precious time but never underestimate the importance of backup because it can save you a lot of time and hassle now today i'm going to present you one extremely interesting easy to use tool which is called you back it and we're going to use it in order to back up our current windows configuration on an external hard drive as usual, we begin by the installation, and then once the app is installed, we double-click, we launch it, we connect the external hard drive to the computer and switch to the backup option in You Back It. Then we click on the Create New button, and you're going to be asked to choose one of these two options. You can either create selective backups by choosing File Backup, or select Disk Backup in order to clone the entire hard drive. You're going to see a list with all the partitions of your system, Choose between these partitions and select those files that you need to backup. In this scenario, we're going to backup the drive where Windows is actually installed. We go further, and on the next screen, we have to select our target device. In this case, we would like to select the external hard drive. As a last step, we click the backup button and we just wait until the procedure is finished. That's much better. We are aware of the hardware requirements and we already have a backup. So even if something goes wrong, we have a plan B. So now let's get to the actual installation process. Since we're making this video while Windows 11 is not yet released to the wide public, as we mentioned, you have to be part of Microsoft's Insider program. Here are the steps that we need to follow in order to be part of that. So on our Windows, we click the Start button, we go to Settings. In the Settings window, we tap Update and Security, and then we choose Windows inside a program from the left panel. Click Get Started to proceed further. Now, hit the plus icon and add the Microsoft account that you want to use for the Insider program. Click Continue and you're going to be asked to pick the Insider program settings for your own account. Since Windows 11 is only available for Dev Channel, make sure to choose the first option from the list and click Confirm. Then we go further by restarting the system to save the changes. And now all we have to do is to go to Start, Settings, Update and Security, Windows Update. And we click Check for Updates and select Upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11. Essentially, that's the whole process and it's pretty straightforward. Of course, you're gonna have to wait for some minutes in order everything to complete. And during that time, make sure your computer remains online and you don't interrupt the process. Now, if something goes wrong, because that always is a possibility, we did a backup in exercise one, so you can always restore from that backup. Or if you didn't do a backup and you notice that some files are missing, let me bring into the picture recover it, because that's the easiest way to restore accidentally deleted files. Let me show you. If you haven't installed recover it yet, now is the time to do it. So when it's done, just launch recover it and choose the location from where you would like to recover the files. Click the Start button and let Recovery scan the selected location to fetch out all the deleted files. This will only take a few minutes, depending on the size of the selected location and of course the type of the drive. Then you can scroll up and down 
through all these files that you see listed over there and select those of them that you need to recover. If you explore some pictures or videos, feel free to try out the preview function because it can come really handy. And at the end, just hit the recover button and restore all these files that you need to. So that's how we do it, nice and clean. Pretty easy and quick upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 in case you're really curious and don't want to wait until the official release. And if something goes wrong, you have two options. You back it in order to restore the backup that you did in step number one, or recover it if it's just concerning a few files that you can't find right now. And I really hope that this video has helped you to find out more about this future release of Microsoft and also to get to backup your data or restore it in a very easy way. And that's what we very often do here, to guide you through easy to follow practical data solutions. And if you like this idea, please subscribe to our channel. For any questions, of course, we're going to take a look at the comment section below the video. I look forward to meet you in our next tutorial. Bye!